Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we are in Tarpon Springs, Florida at the Tarpon Springs Heritage Museum. So come along with me and see what we can see. To give you an idea of about how far away this place is, I'm going to use the Villages, which is in central Florida, to give you a little bit of a perspective. Now, as you see, it's a nice day trip. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Out front, you see a lot of neat stuff and a signage explaining that this is the Greek community of Tarpon Springs. Beautiful foliage. Ooh, that's interesting. Now let's go into the museum and see what they had to offer. Over here we have prints from our famous artist Christopher Steele that has painted these paintings. These are just prints, of course. Oh, hello. How is this world famous? Mm. There's this one. Oh, They also have a video that you can see. In fact, they have five of them. So go to the counter and they'll be more than happy to get one started for you. And they have some fantastic art on the wall, as you can see. And this is how they do painting and art um, underwater. Pretty neat little contraption. Kind of looks like a hand, but actually that is a cast of a manatee flipper. Pretty cool. Now here's an art piece of a manatee. And actually those manatees can be seen right over there. So in certain seasons, they come right up into Tarpon Springs. At the time of our visit, the museum was open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And that's the Epiphany Cross that they would throw in the lakes uh, during Epiphany so that the older kids can die for it and it would be a sign of good luck for the next year and a great honor. Just like this gentleman over here did. And the Epiphany was a celebration and a blessing for the sponge industry, uh, which is what Tarpon Springs was originally known for in the Greek culture. And speaking of sponge diving, they have a whole section of the museum just for that. Definitely just this one part is worth the $5 admission. At least it was $5 at the time we uh, came here. Now the dive suits also included weights on the feet. Um, of course the helmet was quite a bit and they even had some weights over their shoulders. So it was well over 150 pounds uh, just to help keep them down below water. And this is what they were going after, sponges. Pretty neat. And these are the many different types of sponges that are in the Tarpon Springs area. You can even touch them. Neat. Yeah, definitely spongy. And of course, music in the Greek culture was very important, as you see here. This is a good one. Now this building has made some handicapped accessible modifications, as you see here, different ramps. The restrooms are in the back of the building. It's a little tight, but uh, persons with most handicaps can probably maneuver back here. 
But again, just remember, it is an older building and just so many modifications could be made. And if you ask at the front desk for a map of the area, they will give you one for free. Now after you're done with the museum, I highly suggest you go out by the docks and peruse. Let me show you what you see. Now they do have bathrooms that are handicap accessible right next to the dock area. Now not only do you see beautiful boats, but also you can get dolphin rides, manatee tours, all kinds of neat stuff. And Tarpon Springs is also home of one of the top 100 restaurants, Halla's Restaurant. There's also tons of these cute little boutiques, all of these nice little stores for your personal entertainment <laughs> and shopping needs. And you can see the sponges drying out on the boat. Because the water surrounding the area were teeming with sponges, divers from Greece came here and soon developed a flourishing sponge industry. $14 for that. And... Huh. So I guess most of these are $14. For natural sponges, that's not bad. Of course, you're getting it right from the docks. Tarpon Springs boom actually started around 1887 when railroad service to New York was initiated. Wealthy northerners came to this popular destination and built beautiful Victorian mansions, established churches, schools, and hotels, and started businesses. The many Greeks who migrated here also set up enticing restaurants, pastry shops, and markets, giving the area a Mediterranean mystique. Now, Tarpon Springs is the largest city in Pinellas County and full of history, with sites like the Sponge Docks. It is a city that is located in central Pennsylvania's Gulf Coast. Well, I thank you for coming along with me and my girlfriend <laughs> to the Tarpon Springs Greek Heritage Museum and Tarpon Springs Docks. I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video, write a comment, and please subscribe. Oh, and hit that bell while you're at it. Okay, sweetheart, let's say it together. And as always, have a great day. You did great. Really. Wonderful. Couldn't have done any better. <laughs>